Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. Kind of a question for you guys, but before I get in the, the topic of this video, I don't know if you checked out my short I did on this knife. This is the Plexus by Isham Blade Works and Arcane Studios. <laughs> I always think Arcane Designs for some reason. So, uh... I did this a uh, short on this knife and um, you, you should have saw my top three EDC knives for the first uh, quarter, first three months. So I'm working on EDC and three knives, but I'm doing it or organically. I don't really pick the knives. I'm just drawn to the knives on if I leave a knife on my table and if I, I tend to carry it more so I was planning to do a short on this knife and so I got this knife out and so far it's stayed on my table since Thursday and I plan to I think I plan to EDC this one a lot if you saw my um, video my short you seen me uh, flicking it and all kinds of stuff I edit my um, shorts heavily because I want to just show you guys the best part. I want to cut out all the boring parts. I put a little bit of music to it. I, I, I lower the music because I want you guys to hear the sounds of it opening and closing. So I, I noticed some YouTubers just play music over all those sounds. I, I, don't, I don't like that. So... I do it differently. <laughs> not, I'm not going to say the best. It's just I like to hear the knife sounds opening and closing over the music. Anyway, um, you, sh you should have seen uh, me dropping this knife into the dirt, uh, into the wood. I kind of want to prove a point. My knives are user knives. This is a $400 knife, but I'm going to treat this knife as if it was like, I don't know, a $20 knife. I, I don't really fear away from uh, uh, cutting shit or um, prying with stuff or whatever you use a knife for. I, I use a knife for whether it costs $20 or $400. So I plan on EDC and the shit out of this and it looks pristine right now. I cleaned, obviously cleaned the dirt off. It was uh, a lot of dirt on there. I think I cleaned it off. Maybe I missed a spot. Anyway, I plan on uh, carrying this knife for the probably second quarter. You know, I mean, I, I can't promise anything, but if I do... I would be curious if uh, the knife holds, holds up um, to the abuse of whatever I put it through. Let's get on to the, the topic uh, I brought you here for. So, this is kind of a weird one. I always wanted to ask this question. I, I, I drug a, a few knives out maybe two weeks ago and I didn't do the video. But I'm doing the video now. I'm just curious, and I hope I explain this well. I'm just curious if um, you guys buy a knife, no matter the cost. Um, if you buy a budget knife, or you buy um, a $200 knife, or a $100 knife, do you, f want, do you fear altering the design because you may not be able to sell that knife later? Let me show you some examples. So you've probably seen this knife. This is the Finch uh, Runtley. <laughs> this is the Finch Runtley. And uh, when I got the Finch Runtley, I, I was, uh, first off, I was hunting for the yellow one for the longest time. And I finally got the, the yellow scales because I always wanted to, this is when I was in my, um, blended gradient dye phase. I wanted to give it a blend from yellow 
to the orangish color to or, oh, red to an orangish color to yellow and it was hard to do because there's the very small scales i didn't want to do the blend into the shield but i think it turned out nice and i didn't do anything else oh yeah <laughs> i dyed this uh, backspacer red just just to set it off i think it's nice having a like a touch of color back there other than the yellow so i don't know if this knife is sought after because i don't know if they uh for me it was hard to uh get because it was in yellow and i didn't think they produced any yellow knives past the first uh drop they did so correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think they did they they usually come out with a a color scheme or a material and they don't usually repeat it I believe so this is an example of what I'm trying to say so being that it's probably the only uh, yellow Runtley that will ever be made and I'm not sure it is but just uh, play with me maybe just pretend that it was the only yellow scale g10 runtley that was ever produced and that was will be ever produced in the future so how do you guys feel about altering knives i mean if i i see a knife i buy a knife and i see um something that i want to do i always do it i don't intentionally buy knives to resale resell so if i like something i get something in my mind and i'm going to change it i'm just going to change it and i don't know how it affects the the resale value i mean if i should have to sell it would it be worth it with doing modifications of the knives and i, I don't want to say customizations because I'm not really customizing, I'm so, sort of modifying it. Would this hurt the value of this knife? Or would it enhance the value? I don't know. I just had a question in my mind. So I'm going to show you guys a second knife. This is also a Finch knife. This is the Harvester. And what I did with this again this is the yellow bone harvester and i'm pretty sure if you didn't get it right away you missed out on the yellow bone i don't have a thing for yellow but for some reason i was in a yellow phase i have some more <laughs> maybe two or three other knives that i collected at a time that were yellow too so i was in the yellow phase so i didn't want to die this bone i, I kind of liked it how it, it was and this was my favorite knife of that finch came out with with the i think that came out in i don't remember 2021 2022 but this was the best finch for that year so right away i just wanted to experiment um so you could see i bronzed all the screws and i don't know if you can tell it's it doesn't show up all the way sometimes but i bronzed both of those barrel spacers and the the, the barrel spacers turned out really nice because they're li like a lighter bronze they're not so dark as the screws and i bronzed the pivot i bronzed it also the screws on the other side even the pocket clip screws so i don't know i it was i was just in a phase where i was trying to experiment uh, on bronzing hardware i didn't bronze the the liners I, I left them clean so so i do all my bronzing as is as as right now i on an electric top stove i will put this the hardware in a kind of a mixing cup 
and the mixing cup on the coils of the stove and I let them the mixing cup heat up and I watched the the hardware turn bronze and then I quickly uh, take them off um, push them in some Windex and then let them cool down and wash them afterwards and uh, yeah I don't know if I'm doing it the right way apparently I read uh, let them let the hardware cool down and Windex afterwards was a thing I don't know if that's right anyway so this is another custom and this is a probably a salt after knife maybe because of the yellow bone color I don't know but I want to ask you guys did I ruin my chances of reselling this knife because I changed it I don't know I, I just wanted everybody's uh, take on you know modifications of knives or customizations of knives like this is the third one that I want to show you guys this is a budget knife straight out budget knife this is the the best tech platypus <laughs> and I think this is a uh, anywhere from a 50 to 70 dollar knife I, I don't remember because I bought it a long time ago I, in fact I bought three of these knives and I gave two of them away there, there was I think they were very fancy nice micarta or no g10 scales but I kept the, I got stuck with the orange one and so uh, yeah I gave it a red to orange blend and I thought it t turned out nice and uh, but I don't know I think for me people don't really like orange knives so for me I just wanted to make the orange a little bit different so I give it a gradient red blend but I love this knife again so if I went to sell that how many of people would uh, pay a decent price for a modded knife rather than original knife so I could show you many more knives I've I've modded in my collection many other knives but I'm not just I, I don't want to make this video go longer than it is already so I'm just gonna throw out the question do you guys modify knives do you see any problem modifying knives do you not modify knives because you fear the resale value will drop or you just don't care like me these knives are keepers I'm, I'm never going to get rid of these knives unless I was hard up and maybe someone really wanted them or I had to sell them honestly I would modify any knives even a knife that I would never keep if the the feeling came over me all right guys I'm going to let you guys go and I'm going to uh, I cleared off my, my some space from my phone and I'm going to do some videos over the weekend I had like my phone was like jam-packed with videos and I finally put them all together there's was mostly membership videos and I had to clear them up because I couldn't make any new videos <laughs> anyway take care Wastelanders